For this problem, we have to solve and graph the following inequality, which is negative y is greater than or equal to y plus 6 divided by 7. And what we can do first is multiply this side by 7. Because we are dividing by 7, we do the inverse, which is to multiply by 7. And we have to write the 7 on top. And the reason for that is, is because this 7 is the denominator of a fraction. So if you multiply a fraction by 7, it's really written as 7 over 1 if it were a fraction. So the 7 has to be on the top or written as a numerator so we can cancel it with the denominator. And what we do to one side of our inequality sign, we have to do to the other side of our inequality sign. So we have to multiply negative y by 7. So what we have remaining now is this. On the left-hand side of our inequality symbol, we have 7 being multiplied by negative y, which is negative 7y. Because we have a positive times a negative, which will always yield a negative value. And on this side of our inequality symbol, we have y plus 6 remaining. Now notice that we have the variable y on both sides of our inequality symbol, and we have to move that variable to one side of our inequality symbol. So the next thing that we can do is take this y right here and get rid of it on this side and send it to that side by doing the opposite. And notice there is no symbol in front of the y, or no negative in front of the y, meaning it is a positive y. And the inverse of that is negative y. So on this side of our inequality symbol, we have to add negative 1y to negative 7y, which is a total of negative 8y. And on the right-hand side of our inequality, we still have the value of 6. Now at this point, we have negative 8y is greater than or equal to 6. So to isolate this variable y, what we have to do is divide this side by the coefficient of negative 8 because anything divided by itself is positive 1. And we have to balance our inequality by dividing the other side by negative 8. But one thing we should remember when dealing with inequalities is this. Whenever you are dividing one side by a negative value, the direction of your inequality symbol is going to switch. So after canceling out these negative 8s, which results in positive 1, we have positive 1y is less than or equal to positive 6 divided by negative 8, which is equal to negative 3 fourths. Remember, when a positive is divided by a negative, the result will always be a negative value. So we have to graph the inequality y is less than or equal to negative 3 fourths. So let's draw a number line. And on that number line, we can start by placing some marks. I'm going to try to write those marks equidistant from each other. And we're going to say that this value right here is 0. This value here is negative 1. This value here would be negative 2. And this value here would be negative 3. Now what we have to do is locate negative 3 fourths on our number line. Well, right here would be 1 half below 0, or negative 1 half. So negative 3 quarters would be located approximately right here. So we have to make a point right here, but it must be shaded in. Because our inequality symbol has an equal to as part of that symbol which means we include negative 3 fourths as one of the possible solutions. And the other solutions besides negative 3 fourths will be anything less than negative 3 fourths. And on the number line, anything less than negative 3 fourths would be located to the left of negative 3 fourths on our number line. So in the original inequality, any value of y will work as long as that value is equal to negative 3 fourths or less than negative 3 fourths.